Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where a decision has been made. We are going to Frostfound directly. We're going to just bypass everything else, ignore everything, go to Frostfound, because we need to be there with less than 25 terror. Which is a bit rough, but we should be able to do it. As long as I don't get any random events that increase my terror massively. After that, we'll be getting into Frostfound, and there will be just a delightful amount of horrible things that will happen there. But we should be fine, probably won't be, but hey, it's fine. I just say that to make myself feel better. And hey, looking on the bright side, last episode went pretty well. We got our element of dawn, nobody died, of consequence. Um, just eight little crew members, but hey, who cares about them, right? <laughs> uh, I do, but... Hmm. Oh well. It's fine. Really, it's fine. And I probably don't have to make this a completely direct trip. I could probably make a few stops. You know what, just... Just to be safe, I'm not going to. Won't even stop to play with you. Although I want to, don't get me wrong. Want to, but won't. Well, I mean, this guy's on... Uh, these guys are in the way, so I'm gonna just stop in for a port report at the very least. I mean, it doesn't feel right to not make any money on this trip and just go to Frostfound and just get part of the Fulgen Impeller there. So, Doc. Hmm. Let's visit with them. Loses us some terror. And compile a port report. Thank you. The question, though. Eh, six space, so that's not really enough. But yes, oh! Hold on a moment. Haven't read some descriptions. The element of dawn, and yet it moves. A piece, emission, or work of the dawn machine. Which summons the tree of ages if we use it. Bad idea. And the awakened seal of the red science. A sky-scarred hunk of meteoric iron the size of a wheelbarrow. Burning glyphs mark its flanks. A star spore lives in it. It's watching you. Are you sure you know what you're doing with this thing? I mean, I'm positive that I don't. But we're keeping it anyway. Hmm. And Station 3 is on the way. Hold on, do I have, by some miracle... Hmm, no, 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 no. See, offhand, I'm not remembering if I actually have access to Station 3 or not. I want to say that I don't, but I might stop there just, just cause. Hello, little Jilly Fleur. I might have to shoot you. I don't really apologize for it. I just, you know, you're there. You create supplies. Sorry. I could let it disperse, which gets me Z stories, which is what we are going to be doing from now on. Because I want to get some muter salt. Hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All clear. See, all is well, and we're still at one tear, so we are doing pretty damn good. <sighs> if only the lady in lilac could see this. Hmm. <laughs> Such a pity that she had to go somewhere. I don't know where, of course. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, you know, actually, this is not... My terror situation is pretty great at this point, so I might just make a few more stops. Hmm. <gasps> Wisdom, actually. Yes, that is an idea. Because I need stuff from there as well. And I mean, just a little bit of terror won't kill us. Hmm. Yes. Stop at Station 3, then go... Yes. Yes, I have plans. Kind of almost not really. Oh, and if things go well in Frostfound, which they won't, because it's Frostfound, we could actually go and get the Fulgen Depeller today. Hmm. I'll search for our signs, gain our fragments. Never hurts to know what you're up against. There's nothing to see along the narrow quays, but there is a smell. Distinct enough to rise above the odors of brine and wood and wet rope. It's the smell of frankincense burned recently in, in substantial quantities. Oh, this... It occurs to me. No, because 
the Honor Republic is actually a very luck-based thing. I was going to say, we could get the captivating treasure from turning in my stuff to the guys at Venderbite. But we don't know that the same market will be in the Iron Republic and that they'll take the captivating treasure in order to make a soup. Well, I say make exchange for a Sooth and Cooper long box uh, a little bit to the north. Yes. Oh, dear. Like I said before, too many things going on in one playthrough and it's <laughs> starting to get to me. Oh, whoops. Not what I wanted to do. I mean, it worked out, but still not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Terra's fine. Really don't have to worry about it too much. I can just go north at this point. Hmm. Yes, that would be fair, I suppose. Nope, oh, bound shark. Nasty little creature. And there's wisdom. Wait, does it add terror when I release this guy? And do I have the money to do it? Yeah, probably. Fortunately, money isn't too much of an issue for me right now. Um, even if I somehow go through all these 5,000 Echoes, I have heirlooms at home, so that's fine. Oh. Oh, I need 175 pages. Well. Well, then. Compile our report first, of course. And, uh, hmm. No, don't want to risk that. I only have 13 crew. One of them dies and I'm going half speed. Which is another reason I probably should have gone back home. But anyway, ransom a prisoner. Wisdom will release prisoners on a payment of an eye-wateringly high redemption fee. It's not entirely clear whether this constitutes bribery or a legal instance of Kaganian mercy. And it is expensive, but we will do it. And I succeeded. Hooray, I guess. Oh, go on. I'm sure you'll bring me a replacement someday. He's convivial, the unctuous fellow. He convives to the... Convives? I don't know what that word means. He convives to the extent of a half bottle of Greyfield's first sporing. A good thing you'd kept it for a special occasion. You have a pleasant chat about Z-Weather and the loneliness of life out here in the Sea of Lilies, and he generously discounts the fee. Hmm. Thank you. The Unselling Sage. We've rescued a prisoner from the terrible fastness of wisdom. This is the man you came for. Is he a man? There's something peculiar about the line of his jaw, the shape of his eyes. But he's grateful to see you. You have my gratitude. Those not oracles, pfft. They would have choked on me, but it would have done me little good. I would be gently digesting now were it not for you. I see you have my friend with you. We are going to do great work. Yes, my friend, perhaps the great work. We shall wake those forces. Do you ha have the pattern? I can hardly wait. I don't know if that's a typo or if that's actually how he's supposed to speak. I'm assuming that is not a typo, and that is how I'm supposed to speak as him. But I'm not sure of that. Also, by uh, any chance, can I talk with him? The Unselling Sage. No, because I don't have any strange catches. Eh. Oh well. Yeah, that can't possibly be a typo. Or it could be. And it could just be a really annoying typo. That they repeated multiple times. Anyway, ignoring that, and how I'm supposed to actually pronounce that, we're going to go onward and elsewhere. Srimshonder to Frostfound, I think. Seems the route to take. Although I suppose I don't really need to go to Srimshonder. Oh, right, under the Z. You know what? I don't really need to go there. This is just a surface trip for surface things. At least for the moment. We'll stop at Khan's Shadow, though. I have need of a new mirror catch box, probably. Don't remember if the... Yeah. Yes. Don't remember if we get the mirror catch box once we turn it into the delightful people at Vanderbite. Compile a report, thank you. Hmm. A crate of human souls would not be a bad investment. Just in case, you know. And remind me, how much Stygian ivory do I need? Hmm, where is it, 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 where is it? 
journal. There we go. Let's see, let's see. See, this This is not useful to me right now. Um, Mechanic secret. Yes, I'm aware of that. There we are. 40 units of Stygian ivory. I mean, we could start getting some now. Hmm, might be better off. Yeah. Go to the Shalinate, then go south, if we're going to do that. If we're going to do that. Which, itself, is a bit of an if. For now, just worry about Frostfound and getting the components together. After all, we still need to find King Yudas Castle to the southeast. Somewhere in the southeast. Which, it occurs to me, I'm very curious what's down below that. Hmm. Very curious indeed. Well, not gonna worry about it right now. Right now, we just focus on Frostfound, and nothing else. And actually, we could probably get rid of the land. Yeah. Probably could have done that a while ago, but, you know. Paranoia, it's a thing. Should be fine. It probably won't go up 20 in the next couple minutes. And by minutes, I mean maybe 10 seconds. And eventually, Doc. Ah, frost found. Towers and ramps and galleries and stairs of ice raised and spun like an architect's honey dream. No spider ever wove so complex a web. The towers are utterly pristine, untouched by human life, but a pitiable encampment squats by the dock. Hmm. And we have... Hmm. You know what? No, not yet. Create our port report. Bickering amiably. Not all our right army are wither. There's the odd researcher, the occasional deranged ice sculptor. Now and then a very cold, very sad rubbery man. But for the most part, an atmosphere of friendly rivalry reigns. Yes, yes, yes. We're not going to do this yet. Because I want to go to Frostfound right now. Enter Frostfound. A long flight of stairs rises, glistening to a sheer tower. There is no door. Your reflection hangs in the cloudy ice. Face the wall. You probably shouldn't do that, one of the squatters advises. Ignore her. Face the wall. Examine your cloudy reflection. Close your eyes. Step forward. Shiver. Frostfound radiates both cold and a settler chill of the heart. Did you move at all? Or was it your reflection that moved? You're inside Frostfound. Light. A hundred rich and blinding colors filter through the ice. It's like drinking a kaleidoscope. It's like being kidnapped by rainbows. The colors shift with every step you take, revealing shining corridors. In each and every corridor, your reflection waits. Enter the sapphire chamber. This corridor shimmers with a blue as rich as the sky of the surface. A howling wind. It fills your ears, but the air is still. Hmm. Not the best of choices. Every facet of the ice crystal wall is the hard and depthless blue of a desert sky. You take one step further in, and that blue plucks at your senses. Vertigo spins you, a voice intones. This was the sky. Recall other places where there is no sky. You are far from any sky. Stare fiercely into that fierce blue and call to your mind your memories of skyless islands. A tough challenge, but we'll go for it. Unfortunate. Confusion, where are you? What is happening here? Around you, Frostfound shivers like a bubble. Is it even real? I mean, I kind of don't want to sacrifice a point of veils. If I can avoid it. But it's looking an awful lot like I can't. An accommodation. Yes, this blue is a brittle, savage barrier. Press against it and it will shatter, spilling you into the high wilderness. But you are safe in the dark. You are afraid, but you have mastered your fear. And we must enter it again, unfortunately. Oh, very well, we'll step into the sky. You'll be terribly exposed, but perhaps you'll learn something. The horror of emptiness. Yes, this blue is a brittle, savage barrier. Press against it and it will shatter. Spilling you into the high wilderness. The stars are hungry, and there is a horror upon you. Your head spins. Enter the Amethyst Gallery. Over here, a corridor is the deep violet of the more colorful undersea corals. Dappled shadows drift like fish. Predatory shapes. You are the center of hunters' attention, things like and unlike sharks, long, sleek, half-visible behind the walls, 
you have the sudden sense that they are vaster than sharks, vaster than frost found itself. Perspective confounds you. This place stretches away every direction through a dusty purple haze, as if you float in a cloud. There is chill and crackling. Vast and shadowy shapes hang lifeless in the distant cloud, fluids staying their hides. Whale things and beast things, bigger than dirigibles, bigger than cities. You are a speck in the clouds. Are you still inside Frostfound? Once again, there is a voice, lifeless as lead in type. There were casualties. Indeed. Hmm, I have so few Z stories. We'll approach the Colossi. Fear is the way to the heart of Frostfound. You will not escape unscathed. Terra Profunde. Great sad dead eyes like stagnant crater lakes, mouths which could drink rivers. Your entire ship would be a glint on a speck and a pockmark on the least limb of these things. Every time you enter battle, you will remember this. Enter the cavity. That corridor glows the rich red of sunlight on fresh blood. Bright as pain. As you tread the corridor's crimson facets, you almost expect your feet to come away sticky. You are bathed in crimson light, thick as cream. It warms your skin and fills your mouth with the taste of iron. This is only a memory of a memory of voice and tones. The crime is forgotten. Its shadow remains. Hmm. I have so many of these stories. And it is a great risk, but... Find the similarities, but keep a safe distance. Understand the fear that haunts this place without surrendering to it. A failure. Distraction. There was a terror you found out in the Z. You remember it keenly. But what does it mean, this chamber, this place? Frost found shivers around you. Memory is fragile. Too fragile. Surrender to the traces of horror. Whatever was remembered here is gone, but even its traces still scald the air. You can give in to it, but it will damage you. That art. All living things are joined in the chain. Men and apes, bees and roses, messengers and stars. When the red science breaks it, even time is scarred. Now that scar has touched your spirit. Interesting. Hints about the judgments and their relation to this world. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Enter the Emerald Vista, the green of forests of poison of leaves hallowed by arc light. Chilly air, the scent of pine. Rich, deep, fresh green of infinite depths and tints. If secrets had a color, it would be this. It baffles and delights the eye. A chilly wind brushes you. Something sought, the voice intones. Something lost. Hmm. <sighs> and we surrender our understanding to the wind. Changes. There are changes which will wash away all that you were and all that you are. Nothing is familiar. Everything is new as morning. Your sight is dazzled. Your perceptions confounded. Now we cross the diamond bridge. Here the light is brightest. Lightning bright. Migraine bright. Bright as humiliation. Even when you close your eyes, the light does not diminish. The diamond bridge. A narrow space of blinding light. All colors and none between the towers of bright and the towers of teneb. Once on the bridge, you will be exposed like an insect in the desert, like a fresh carcass on the operating table, like a jewel in the sun. Oh? But would this consume the element of dawn? Hmm. I won't risk it. Cross the bridge, the light will erode what you are. An acid dazzle. You stumble through a mounting haze of dread. The light tears at you. Thoughts wither like charring paper, across into the merely brilliant light of inner frost found. Enter the iridescence. A softer, pearlier mirror fog glow coils from this corridor. If this is frost found's pearl, what dark inclusion provoked it? The light here is very different. The ice crystal walls are invisible behind a soft and luminous fog. Even the air is warmer. Your shadow paces you, stalking the boundaries of the fog. Know yourself, a voice in tones. Hmm. Interesting that. Retrieve the mechanic secret. This, the mechanic says very quietly, is as far as we go. Let's get what we came for and get out. I don't want to see what's in the fog. Not again. Has he been here all along? Nothing is certain in Frostfound. We take it and we leave. The mechanic fumbles in the drifting mist on the floor. His shadow does the same. From within the fog as it scrapes away in imitation, there is a dull grating noise, as of claws on rock. He comes up with a stone piglet small enough to lie comfortably on the palm of his hand. Its eyes are bright pearls. 
I'm sorry, the mechanic confesses. My imagination is rather literal. He stows the pig away out of sight. Now please, can we go? I can feel my teeth chattering out there. We could. Leave. You aren't really in this chilly labyrinth, are you? You can open your eyes at any time and you'll be safe, won't you? Yes. Hmm. I take tea with the squatters at the dock. Some of them wear the robes of Iremi Riddlefishers. Some look like Withern folk, but even more ragged. But they do seem a little more practical than either of those peoples. Hmm. Yes. Games of Truths. We're keeping the steps for the game of truths, a helpful Riddlefisher explains as she fills your cup for the third time. Every year, the people of Irem and Wither meet here for, she pauses, contests, she finished vaguely. The difference between a question and a riddle. One day, someone will prove themselves enough to enter the castle. You spend a pleasant few hours while the tea is supplemented with Iremi liqueurs, pale withered beer, and something the Riddlefishers describe blandly as snake cake. They offer you fuel and supplies before you leave. We keep enough to spare, the Riddle Fisher grins. From time to time, a captain gets lost and comes up here, and we always feel bad for them. Hmm. Less terror, though. And now the real issue. Show the squatters your navigator's sigil. A plucky researcher recognizes it. I know it well, I can show you, but the way isn't easy. I'll not take anyone frail. You'll need ropes, crampons, skins, tents, and I want paying, of course. My bursary is wearing rather thin. They're expensive, but we'll do it. Almost never remembered. He didn't exaggerate. The ice is slick as an oiled mirror. You need pitons and spike boots to navigate the slopes. And a misplaced foot will send great chunks of it thundering into the thirsty sea. The air bites like a bound shark. Your face is numb, your fingers stiff, your throat raw. The climb takes you around a sheer white cliff. The water is below swimming with shards of razored ice. At last, a frozen ledge. A vertical sheet of ice rises before you, reflective as a conjurer's glass. Engraved upon it, twenty feet high, is the navigator's sigil. Impressive, isn't it? The researcher says, dropping his pack. It's one of the old accords between Wither and Irem. It means almost never remembered. Your navigator approaches it warily. The sigil on his temple sparks with blue fire. He reaches out, his fingers touching those of his reflection on the ice, and his reflection lunges forward, whispering something in his ear. The navigator crumples into the snow. Oh, the plucky researcher says. Damn. We're going to have a devil of a time getting him back to the ship. You do, but you manage it. Back in your cozy cabin, you imbibe mulled rum. Will you ever be warm again? We have two wounds. Ah. Uh, you know, just as a precaution, I think we're going to be heading back home. Just in case something bad happens. Yes, let's do that now, actually. Hmm. I don't like being so close to death. At least if I can avoid it. Tell me, was I clever? No, I was not. Thought perhaps I had actually, you know, put, um, some coffee on the hold, but no. Didn't hold on to any of it. Although I suppose I can't, because they just automatically give all my coffee over to that guy in the coffee shop in Vienna. Which is slightly unfortunate. It would be nice to be able to hold on to some. I really don't have the time, sir. We're going to stop at Garda's Morn real quick. And although, Garda's Morn Vendor Bite. Turn in some of those colors, perhaps? Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Do I have another reason to come north? I do. I have multiple reasons to go north later. We'll go straight to Fallen London. No stops. Except for Garda's Morn. Which admittedly isn't much of a stop. Although, is there a risk I get injured there that... I don't believe there is, but... Uh, mm. Oh. Made a mistake there. A small mistake. A minor one. Doc. Don't want to explore. Gather some intelligence. Hmm. Delightful. Question... I could buy Saul's fruit here, too? Really? I don't remember being able to do that, but if you say so. Anyway, onward to elsewhere. Anywhere that is not here would be ideal. Straight to London, come on. Fast as we can, well, not necessarily fast as we can, but fast as we can do safely. 
safely. Dear. Sorry. Oh dear. Hmm. Do we kill this thing? We do. Well, the light's not going to do me any good. Hi. I'm on your ship. Like, quite literally, right on your ship. That was rather rude. The ship is yours. What will you do with her? Loot and scuttle it. Obviously. And what do we have? More supplies. Not exactly the most useful of things. But, I mean... I suppose we could just sort of turn them in and fall in London, make a small profit there. It's an option. Something to think about. Hmm. Although next run, we're just going to go straight this way to the Shellinate, then down. Make a stop at the Empire of Hands, obviously, to get rid of the... Uh, what is her name? The Delightful Adventuress, I believe? Delightful Adventuress, yes. Get her off the ship, and then further south to new and horrible things that probably want me dead. But it'll be fine, probably, eventually. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Of course, after we have the full Gundam Peller, well, then we have other business to attend to. All over the place. A lot of business. Actually, I've had to start making a list of all the various things that need to get done. Uh, let's see here. Like a literal list, because, again, this journal? Useless for telling me what I need to do. Like, in a concise manner. But, anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hello, civilian. Just keep running along. Burning blue. Uh, attempt to calm them. There's a perfectly natural explanation. Blah, blah, blah. Light. Blah, blah, blah. Darkness. More secrets. How many of these do I have, by the way? Yeah, easiest way to find out. Could have you dine with me, but no. I have 11 secrets. My, 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 my. What do I want to increase by 6 or 5? Hmm. Oh, quick stop at the sisters. I suppose I would increase my pages if I could, actually. But no, it's gonna be heart, I suppose. Is the weakness of us. Although, see, that's the debate. Do I strengthen weaknesses or strengthen strengths? You know, just become really good at mirrors while letting hearts be where it is. I don't know. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Reconnoiter the island. And then luncheon with uh, Phoebe. Phoebe is soft voice, watchful, unpredictable. Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water, of a raven that carried messages of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room, to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore, the Unterzee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There's a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there, you finished the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and Beth Oliver biscuits. No hunger, less terror. Lovely. Something changed? I saw, but something changed. And then, unfortunately, just went right past it. I'm slightly concerned about that. I suspect my next trip to this place will be unpleasant. Well, we will go from here. And actually, I really need to... Uh, supply situation is covered, but the fuel situation is unideal. We'll see. We'll see what needs to be done. And then we'll probably do it. Possibly. Who knows? Docking, though. And really, this thing just never resets my terror like it's supposed to. I don't know what is going wrong here. Anyway, I heard you had a present for me before on a previous trip. You've been so very helpful, I wanted to give you something for your next voyage. Bottled it myself. Thanks, more supplies, great. A dark glass, it smells pickled, chemical, zalty. 
Once it might have been eel flesh, but the scholar assures you that it is vital and nutritional virtues. Save it for an emergency, perhaps. Thank you. Hmm. I am tempted by this because I'm curious, but no. An intriguing snippet is all you will get from me. And the live specimen is staying with me. It's fine. So to my lodgings. To read the morning paper. Get ourselves some news. And rest. Ah, <sighs> good, good, good. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Back to the rest of the city, I suppose. Deliver supplies for the work. A burning-eyed student waits at the... Abandoned lime kilns by Watchmaker's Hill. Oh, wonderful. Yes, extra souls. Oh, I didn't need to buy those. Bummer. Oh, well. Yeah, we're going to be selling some of these supplies just to make room, essentially, for fuel and all the other things we might need in the future. I know, I know, it's not profitable, but it's the thing I'm doing right now, okay? Hush. Need the... Yeah, there we go. All right. And because I'm, you know, here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Extra fuel. There we go. Which was stupid, because I actually can get some fuel just from turning in poor reports. Well. Ah, uh, that was stupid of me. Incredibly stupid. What I could do, what I'm actually going to do, is just ignore the fact that I have those, and just go straight over to the Shell Innate. But that's for the future. For now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I shall see you all soon.